consider a sudden reaction reactant A produced products this is the reaction given here by the rate constant 2.0 multiplied by 10 to power minus 2 per second uh, well the rate constant of the reaction is given the question says calculate the concentration of reactant A remaining after 100 seconds time is given if the initial concentration of reactant A is 1.0 mole per liters the initial concentration of reactant is given and you have to calculate the remaining amount of reactant A after 100 seconds. Consider the remaining amount of reactant A is X and we label it final amount of the reaction, a final amount of the reactant in the reaction. Well, the in the reaction you can see that only one reactant is take, taking part. So, it is a first order of reaction. We apply the formula for the first order of reaction. The formula is K, K is rate constant 2.303 divided by time t log initial amount of the reactant divided by final amount of the reactant. Rate constant value is given, time is also given, initial amount is also given and you have to calculate final amount that is the remaining amount. So, we have assumed x. We can plug in known variables in this formula and find out f value, I mean to say uh, x value. Let us do it. k value is given 2.0 multiplied by 10 to power minus 2 and its unit is per second is equal to 2.303 divided by time, time is 100 seconds. Log initial amount is 1.0 mole per liters and so the final amount we have assumed it is x. Let us simplify this expression, do the cross multiplication here, then you will have log 1.0 divided by x and so you can transfer 100 on left side, the value will get 2.0 multiplied by 10 to power minus 2 and its unit is per second multiplied by 100 second divided by you will have 2.303 as denominator, 2.303 as denominator. Cancel per second and second and 100 can be written as a 10 to power 2 and so minus 2 and plus 2 these are the same and opposite exponent over same base will cancel out. Now you can divide 2.0 by 2.303 this side on left side you have log bracket 1.0 divided by x is equal to if you divide 2.0 by 2.303, the value will get 0 0.868. I get this value after rounding up the figures and so on left side you can apply a logarithm power rule. We know that uh, uh, the logarithm power rule it uh, uh, states that uh, log base 10 a divided by b can be written as uh, log a minus log b. We apply the same concept here. Therefore, you will get log 1.0 minus log x is equal to 0 0.868. Log of 1.0 or log of 1 is equal to 0. Here you have log x is equal to 0 0.868. Now, we can transfer a negative sign on right side. This will become positive and it will become negative and the value will get log x is equal to minus 0 0.868. You can take anti log of this entire setup. On left side anti log and log will cancel out then you will have x is equal to anti log bracket minus 0 0.868 and so you can take anti log of this value the value will get 0 0.136. You can so round out this figure since 6 is uh, uh, greater than 5 that is why we round 3 to 4, 0 0.14. This is the remaining amount of reactant A after 100 seconds. Well, you can see that the unit of initial concentration of reactant A is given in mole per liters. That is why the remaining amount of reactant A after 100 seconds will also be in mole per 